Man, this was easily one of the most special experiences and productions I've had the privilege to, to be on. It was just pure good energy and I think it's shown through on screen and we're in a sacred place, the actual heart chakra of the world where, you know, it brought up all these beautiful emotions and, and what better person to do it with than SZA. Open your heart up, open the never I have been wanting to work with SZA for so long. She's one of the reasons why I love music videos, why I wanted to do music videos, why I want to work with females. She has such a divine, feminine, powerful energy and that I think the world needs. I actually pulled up to set when they were shooting Broken Clocks just to meet her and we sort of talked about Garden and I said look like what are you feeling like where were you when you wrote the song what do you want to do she said look it's called Garden I want a destination video and she's like I want to go to Hawaii and I was like yo what if it's on some Adam and Eve thing where you know we have that storyline and and you go on this trek to your mom and it's this restorative journey throughout Hawaii and we just kind of went back and forth in this conversation. And from there, I, I, I went back and wrote the treatment and sent it to her and it was that easy. And then we were in Maui. So the video starts off with SZA sort of sleeping on, on this rock. And, you know, she opens her eyes here where visually it's met with light and sonically we have a heart chakra frequency playing underneath. And from there, you know, she gets up, it sort of represents this awakening and the beginning of our journey. And I mean, look at her, she looks like a superhero. And while she walks towards camera, we are pushing in as well as zooming in so that it just sucks you into this story and this journey with her. We kind of have three different narrative arcs within the video. So this story, I really just wanted that anamorphic cinematic feeling for you to just be taken on this journey with her. So all of her traveling throughout Maui to her mom is uh, that anamorphic 240 crop. This is the second sort of narrative storyline of Adam and Eve, and this specific look, we wanted it to feel super dreamy and, and soft and warm, and just so you fall in love with them. And I chose to go 4-3 on that, which is this boxier frame that just keeps you locked in on the image. And uh, we decided to put stockings on the lens that just created this sort of hazy, warm, dreamlike feel that you can really see on the leaves. The shine on her pants, that glow on her face. It's all the stocking along with a smoke filter. It was really cool working with Donald. I mean, we just had a chat beforehand sort of about what we were going for and what this sort of Adam and Eve moment means. And him and SZA kind of blew me away in there. Um, chemistry on screen and and how fun they were to work with. I mean, we were running around a jungle together. Like, that's the best filming experience for me. And then for the third uh, storyline, it is her performance. For this one, we used uh, 185 aspect ratio, full wide screen. You're just, again, everything is just to draw you in. And I just really wanted to feel her just divine feminine energy and and i feel like it really does just ooze off the screen both because that's who she is and then we just use it used different technical things like for this scene we used actual crystals that we just taped to the front of the lens i worked with this dp before for nice for what and we actually tried it there the first time we put we just taped crystals that i had off of chandelier in my house <laughs> which is a shitty trick, but I mean, hey, it worked. <laughs> I chose this black sand beach because I didn't want any of the locations just to feel like sort of a regular tropical location. Maui is so special. I really wanted to feel the texture and the color and just how different this black sand beach is just to represent how special she is and to see her in this beautiful light. For this shot, we had 
wrapped, uh, you know, tearing down the gear. We actually had no follow focus in this very moment. My line producer was like, SZA, look in, look in the crater. And we looked in the crater and there's a rainbow there for 30 seconds. We're scrambling. I'm like trying not to cry because there's a rainbow in front of me and it's a perfect moment. I'm like, turn the camera on. And we place her right in this very position, which is just sort of on the ledge of this mountain that we are standing on. And SZA literally opens up the rainbow. I couldn't tell you a more perfect moment in my life. Casting her mom in the video was a no brainer. Her mother not only narrated her album, but when I sat down with SZA, I had asked her if, if her mom had ever been in any visuals that I didn't know about, because I've watched everything SZA. Um, and just her response was so special. It was like, no, why haven't we done that? You know what I mean? It was that kind of like, of course. So this setup actually came from a true picture of her mom. You know, when I first met with SZA, she showed me this picture and it was her mom sitting on this wicker chair that every mom or grandma had in their house at one point or another. And she was wearing a head wrap with earrings and she had her plant in one hand and it was just such a gorgeous, divine, pure moment of her mom that I wanted to recreate that, just amplify it. So we brought in, you know, a bunch more flowers and plants and specifically uh, crystals. So we have amethyst citrine there, there's a lot of selenite. We just brought specific crystals in that I actually called SZA on the phone and said, okay, like what crystals do we have to bring in there? Because you have to feel that energy. So much of the story was environmental. The terrain was, was challenging. I mean, it was on the first day, it was pouring, raining every 15 minutes. And the second day we were in this jungle with Jurassic Park mosquitoes. And, you know, I had to keep morale up with all of the crew and, and we had to keep trekking through these small pockets of, of shooting time between the rain. When I looked back at it and when I was looking through the footage with, with my editor, I had this realization of no, it was exactly the way that it should have been, you know, the harsh light in the scenes with SZA and Donald Glover, you know, the extreme wind and the ending zoom moments where she's wearing a beautiful red dress, you know, the way that her hair's blowing and the trees are blowing with her mom. Those were meant to happen and that was, thank you to Hawaii. <laughs> There's a little guy that you spot back there behind who moves his hand in the frame that I hope you didn't notice until I just pointed it out. 